Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Joe Anaking. And I'm Aaron Housegate. I've been wanting to go on the trip with the high school where I get to have some fun, but also learn some things along the way. Well, lucky for you, we have information on a fun and educational trip that the high school is taking next summer. And we also have some info on how some sports teams did this past weekend. All that and much more because GTV News starts, starts right, right now. now. Geneva, here are your morning announcements for Monday, April 17th, 2017. Next year, you have the opportunity to take a fun and educational trip to the Grand Canyon with your classmates. The trip is scheduled from June 8th to June 12th in 2018. If you are interested in on going on this exciting trip, then please go to the Geneva High School trip webpage at www.grandclassroom.com. Bonjour French Club will be holding their next meeting on Wednesday at 2.50 in room J241. Remember, you do not have to be a French student to attend. There will be games, food, and exciting conversation about France, so sign up today with your French teacher. For all Social Studies Honor Society members, there will be a meeting this Thursday and Friday morning in room K261 in Mr. Zimbaroff's room. For anyone that is interested in the Color Guard team, for next year there will be an informational meeting on Tuesday, April 25th in the Commons from 3 to 4. They will be discussing the scheduling and duties of being on the team. If you have any questions or if you can't attend, see a band director. Fermilab will be hosting their annual STEM Career Expo this Wednesday from 5.30 to 8 p.m. at Fermilab. Over 100 STEM professionals will be present to help network with local high school students. Please don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. Please see Ms. Warren in the Counseling and Advising Office for more details. And coming up after the break, we have some news outside the halls that you don't want to miss. We also talk about how some Geneva sports team did this past weekend. Stay tuned. Hey guys, check out this super cool new U-Shot I just bought. And check out this view. This U-Shot is super lightweight and it's great for travel. The U-Shot goes with me everywhere. App stories, live, capture, share. There is an optional PLC this Thursday for senior girls. The class will be concentrating on personal defense. It will be led by Officer Penny Bonenheimer, Detective Sarah Sullivan, and Detective Anthony Duncan. This event will take place in the Mac Olson Gym. The Give Hour deadline is coming up fast. Don't forget to turn in your volunteer hours that you worked all year for. Give Hour forms must be handed into the main office before on Monday, April 24th. Make sure you include the names of the organizations, dates of service, number of hours, descriptions of service, and signatures. And now for some news outside the halls. The investigation search for Steve, Steve Steffens begin sun, began Sunday after several people reported an alarming Facebook post. Steffens posted, uploaded a video to his Facebook page showing a gun pointed at a man's head. The gun fired and the victim fell to the ground. The man may no longer be in the Cleveland area and is considered armed and dangerous. Stevens stands charged with aggravated murder of 74-year-old Robert Godwin. First Lady Melina Trump is set to host the 139th annual White House Egg Roll today with more than 21,000 adults and children expected on the South Lawn. More than 400 volunteers work to stuff candy, coloring books, and commemorative eggs into goodie bags with families attending the Egg Roll. The First Lady did a lot of research on previous White House Egg Rolls as she planned the event. After months of waiting, April, a giraffe at a New York Zoo became an instant sensation as she finally gave birth on Saturday morning. A live feed was set up on YouTube to follow the last moments of the pregnancy. Millions tuned in to try to catch the moment that April gave birth. More than 1.2 million people were following the birth online on Saturday. And congratulations to our girls varsity badminton team at the Wheaton North Invitation this past weekend. The team finished second place overall behind Wheaton North. 
First doubles tournament champions were Megan Blazinski and Tristan Williams. Second place for Alyssa Ross in second singles. Second place for second doubles team of Helena Korda and Brooke Blazinski. Second place for third doubles team of Susan Zuzuli and Brianna Baker. And third place in third singles was Kristen Henry. Great job, ladies, and make sure to come celebrate your seniors' last home match of the season this Thursday against St. Charles North. Over the weekend, the boys' track team took home third place for the 1,600-meter run by Tyler Dunn, Justin Rogers in the 3,200-meter run, and Zach Pronofiger in the throws. The girls took second place to Palatin and were led by Sophia McDonald in the 3, 3 2000. Georgia Reed in the 100-meter and 300-meter riddles. So, uh, Susan Dionofrio in the third jump, Kristen Higgins in the high jump, Dan, uh, Hannah Broadin in shot put in the 4x4. Four four. And now here's to the know before we go. Prom tickets will be on sale all week. Seniors, please check Naviance for upcoming scholarship deadlines. And Fermi Lab will be hosting their annual STEM Career Expo on Wednesday. Well, that's all the news we have for you today, Geneva. I'm Joe Anneking. And I'm Aaron Housegate. Have a great day, Geneva. Geneva.